Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super geeked, like super geeked right now to be sitting here in front of you about to film this video. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in because this video is gonna be a doozy, okay? So, here I have with me the Ace Beauty. <laughs> I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but Ace Beauty Paradise Collection. And it is pretty much an eyeshadow collection that they came out with. And they released four different palettes, four different themes, all having to do with paradise. And I just decided to go ahead and splurge for the bundle. And I used a coupon code and I got some money off. So I got this bundle in the PR box for $104 plus free shipping. So not bad. Came out to like $26 a palette. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted. And I was like, you know what? It's just... Just get them all, why not, girl? So I want to go ahead and just dive in and swatch them for you guys and show you guys what they look like. And then we're gonna do a look, sweetie. I'm gonna do a look. I'm gonna pick one of these palettes. I don't know which one right now, but I'm gonna pick one. I'm just gonna do an entire look using one of the palettes. My goal is to use all four of them on my channel, like dedicate a video to each palette. As you can see, they're all very beautiful. So I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet today, but we're just gonna like figure it out as we go. But what I wanted to do was swatch them for you guys. Like swatch a few of the colors. I'm not gonna swatch the whole thing, I'm just not. There are plenty of swatches on social media. You can go to their Instagram, you can go to Trend Mood, you'll see lots of swatches. Swatching is just, ooh, ain't nobody trying to do all that all day. So this palette, this is the Blossom Passion. And this was actually the palette that I saw that made me even like want this collection. Like I saw they had done a makeup look on this beautiful chocolate skin girl and her eyes were just, yes, they were just popping, shining doing a dang thing, doing a thug dizzle. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look into this. So this was a palette that picked my interest and it's lots of pinks and blushes and reds. Just gives you like a ooh, vibe, okay? So I'm gonna swatch a few of them. Um, right off the bat, I wanna swatch this color here called Red Rose because it's always hard to find a vibrant red for, you know, people of color. And so I'm, I, ooh, ooh. That here, oh yeah, that's pretty. It let me tell you, it's so hard to find a vibrant red, okay? If you're chocolatey like me, and so just to even oh, oh the audacity of them to make this so pigmented. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, it doesn't feel powdery at all. It's just like a very creamy, ooh, I hear that word, consistency. Moving right along, let's see. I'm also very curious about this pink right here called Love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip my finger into that. Shining, 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 yeah. So that's fun. And then let's do one of the shimmers. Yes, shimmer. Yes, shimmer. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch Peony. Peony, like, a, like the flower, Peony. Peony. Okay, so peony, we're gonna go ahead and just bloop like that. Bloop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I can visualize this as like the perfect inner corner highlight. And it's like a white base with pink shifty things to it. So it's really pretty. I don't know how that's. I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice for you guys right now. So. So those are the three I'm swatching from the Blossom Passion palette. Just like I said, I'm just showing you guys a little bit of what each palette has to offer. Moving right along, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Classical Paradise palette. And this one is a good one too for me because this has a lot of the colors that I would probably wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm all into the fiery oranges and the reds and the golds. It's just who I am. It's what I live for. I can't help it. You can see I've already tried it. <laughs> I, got a little, I got a little swatch happy. Okay, so since we swatched the red in the last palette, I'm going to swatch this green or golden apple color. It's like a greenish. 
like a mossy green. I've never tried to use a color like this on my face before. That's why I'm swatching it because I, I just want to see like what it, how it would look on my skin. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Oh, 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 oh. I just, I'm just so shocked at how like vibrant it is and how it's like popping on my skin. It's not muted. It's not chalky. It's not powdery. It's not like streaky. It's just hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Golden Apple and I'm here, sweetie. I'm here. I'm loving this. I've never tried, I've never used anything like this on my eyes before, but now I've got to try. So now I'm going to swatch this yellow color here, Maze, because just like Golden Apple, I don't really wear a lot of yellows on my lip. So I would love to see what this is going to pop like. Sis, stop playing with me. That is so pretty. Wow. Okay. Last color we're going to swatch in this palette. Ooh, this sunflower color right here. It's like a shimmery yellow, but like with maybe like a little, like a greeny undertone, kind of. I don't know if the camera's really picking up all that, but yeah. It's a shimmer. It's interesting. It's kind of showing up kind of like like white on me a little, but when you move it around, it has a little bit of a shift to it, like a, it has a shift, like a gold shift to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. All right, on to the next. So now we've what? We're gonna go ahead and dig right in to the Paradise Fallen palette. And this is all of our smoky purples. They give us life. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. So for the purpose of this video, oh my god, so many good ones to swatch. We're gonna swatch this color here called Dusk. Gorgeous. Ugh, look at how like popping it is up against my skin though. And then let's swatch this color right here called Twilight. It's a shimmer. Okay, so that is not like, ooh, God, wow, wow. Look at that, that is gorgeous. And it doesn't have like a lot of shimmer in it. It's more like a metallic, like a satiny metallic finish. That's really pretty. And then the last color I'm gonna swatch, because it's so interesting to me, is this color here called Moon Glow. And it is like a silvery, shimmery color. It's like glitter. Oh yeah, that's silver. That This right here is a look. Get you a little dark color for your crease, your little, you know, smoky eye. Like this color right here called Shadow. In fact, while we're here, let's just go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, oh wow, that is pigmented. Ho, 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 ho. That's a look. That's a look, okay? That's a look. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. I don't know which palette I'm using yet, but I may have just did something. Like, okay, so last, but definitely not least, okay? We're gonna swatch the Slice of Paradise palette. And this is like the really poppin' colorful palette. Every time I come around the city bling bling palette, you know? going out with your girlfriends, finna go cut a rug palette. It's one of them, okay? So I'm really geeked about this because I don't wear a lot of color on my eyes. Like, I'm I'm one of those boring girls who sticks to what she knows. So this is a slice of paradise and boom! She's your wing to be a vision of perfection to be used at your discretion. <laughs> All right, moving along. Ooh, this palette is pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna swatch Persimmon. This is like, like a yellow, like a, like a mustard yellow. Oh my good. Oh my good. Don't mind that I just like rubbed it out because I want 
So pretty. Matches my scarf. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. And then, oh, I'm gonna swatch them all. Okay. Let's swatch this pretty blue down here. Wow. Wow. Okay. Talk about being in shock. I'm in shock. That is gorgeous. And just in keeping with, you know, the theme here, we're gonna go ahead and swatch this blue color here called Macau. Also because I feel like this might be a little bit of a look. But oh my gosh, guys. I'm not even joking with you right now. I don't know. In my experience, these shadows are on the pretty pigmented side. Very buttery, very smooth, not like powdery, not tons of fallout in the palette, bright, shining color. So what I will say in conclusion is that my chocolate girls, these palettes are for you because the colors aren't dull. They're not, you know when you get a palette, nothing is worse than getting a palette and you see a bright color and then you put it on your eyelid and it's not even bright. Like this happens more times that I would like to admit and I'm not going to name no names of any palettes right now but this it's not fun to get a palette and be like oh yeah look at the bright colors I'm going to try something different I'm going to do this and then you put it on and you don't see nothing ain't no ain't no shadow so that's it so we're going to go ahead and dive right in I think I'm going to use this I never oh, I don't do cool eyeshadow looks. Like cool as in like cool toned. I don't. So pray for me. I usually stick to my warm tones, what I know. But something is just telling me to like live life on the edge. I don't, she don't know. She don't know. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of concealer on my lid. Like literally a little. Cause I think I'm gonna cut the crease, I think. So. I'm just gonna like blend that out just to give the shadow an even base to work with. Y'all have to forgive me. So today I'm filming with a monitor for the first time really and I keep looking over to make sure that the filming hasn't stopped and to make sure I'm still in focus and to make sure that everything looks good. So it's really hard. Usually my husband helps me film but Carter my son has been going through some <laughs> growing pains and my husband is with Carter, so I gotta figure out how to film by myself. So this is the solution and hopefully it works out. Okay, I'm gonna take this vine color here, right here, and I'm just gonna use it to set the concealer. I'm just gonna take like a little on a blending brush so it kind of diffuses itself out. I don't want it to like, deposit a bunch of color. I just wanted to set set it, set it and forget it, homies. And it just will help the shadow apply a lot easier and smoother. And just give it like a, you know. You know, a little base action. A little base action. Okay, moving forward. Let's just keep doing what we're doing right now. I feel like we're vibing. I feel like I'm vibing. I'm loving this shit. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna take this dusk color right here and I'm gonna pop it into my crease. It's gonna be my transizione color, homies. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Girl, 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 girl li listen. Listen, you, now you know, you know, I ain't telling no lies, sweetie, because the receipts are right here. Stop, stop. Why they do this? Why they snap like this? That is so pretty. That's so pretty. I'm scared to cut my crease off because I'm not good at it. <laughs> I, I pop, I'm popping this on into the crease to give my eyes some dimension. 
in some shape. Because once you, you know, cover your whole eyelid with eyeshadow, it loses its natural contour. So that's why you go back in and you add some of them details. So this is serving as our, you know, our depth. Our depth. And we're going to go ahead and deepen that later, too, to give it just more. More, more, more. I knew I was gonna love this because just because I, I was watching. Like, okay, so when I first saw the shadow be released or the sneak peek or whatever of the blossom, I was like, okay, I gotta follow these people on um, Instagram. I gotta, like, you know, figure out what the tea is. So I followed them and I'm like, okay. I was watching all of their, like, posts and their tutorials and everything and I was like watching people and I was like this is just a flawless process like I don't ever make big purchases without doing my research so you know the minute I saw this I was like okay I gotta figure out what the tea is so I when I finally decided that I wanted this palette I was like okay I really just pray to God that it's everything is cracked up to be like that you know they're not you know whatever a lot of these companies, they be up to no good sometimes. Trust me when I say we're in good shape right now. Like, this is good. This is good. So I'm going to take, now I'm going to take this color here called Shadow. And I'm just going to take like a little brush because I want to pack this in to my crease before I blend it out. And then bring it, yeah, bring it to the outer It looks kind of messy right now. I haven't blended, which is fine. Everything's gonna be all right because we're gonna blend it out. Okay. So we did have a small mishap here, but it's all coming together. You'll see, you know, the vibe I'm going for soon here. So now well, our eyes are looking, woo, man. Okay, so let me tell you what we're gonna do now. We're gonna cut this crease. We're just gonna do like a half inner like, cut crease. I'm gonna use this NYX eyeshadow base. It's white, because I want this to pop. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. So now I'm gonna take your favorite shader brush, which I don't, yes, here we go. And I'm gonna be using a crown shader brush. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Orion right here. And I'm gonna pop that onto the lid where I place that concealer. For that eyeshadow base. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna use the other side to get a little precise. There's like a little pencil. Pencil on the other side. We're just gonna use. Get precise with it. Gorge. Okay, next eye. So yeah, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna real quick do the next, uh, uh, the other eye, and then I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna take this color here called Twilight, and I'm just gonna take some of that on my flat shader, and I'm gonna blend it on the outer portion of this cup. That is so pretty. Never in my life have I been so excited about eyeshadow. I don't, I don't get excited about eyeshadow. I get excited about lippies and wigs and you know more lippies. Like I don't get excited about <laughs> get excited about eyeshadow. So this, this, this got me really thinking. You know, like I need to play with my eyeshadow more and just really give it all I got. You know. 
Okay, so we're gonna do the bottom lash first before we do all the other fixing. I'm gonna take a little bit of shadow here. On the end, I'm just gonna, ooh, ooh, careful now. Blend that, the outer, I would say third-ish, out of fourth of my bottom lash line. I'm gonna bring it down just, just a smidge. We don't wanna look like we have a black eye. Then I'm gonna take another flat shader. I'm gonna grab some of that Twilight, that shimmery purple. I'm just gonna bring it in and then overlap it a little bit with that shadow color. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna take this pencil brush and I'm gonna take this, I'm scared. I'm just, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm scared. I'm really scared. But I'm gonna take this Moon Glow color. It's like a white, silvery situation. And I'm just gonna pop it in the inner corner. Ever so slightly. It's like quite pigmented and it's like silvery. I don't ever really do silver, so like I'm, being cautious. Ooh. Well, looks like I threw caution to the wind on this eye. <sighs> mm, it's cool. I think I'm gonna take some of Orion and just pop it on top just to like tone the undertone down a little. It's just too silvery. I didn't want like a... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so I'm taking some of my gel liner from Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. Amazing, by the way. And a little pencil brush situation. And I'm just getting as close to my lash line as possible because I'm just, I'm not doing like, like a, 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 like a wing wing or anything. Like I'm just. Lashes. I didn't pick out any lashes I was going to do. Oh my girl. Let's find our lash. Look at this. Isn't this just so cute? I put my lashes in it. So, this is always like the hardest part for me. I'm trying to figure out which lash is going to do the trick. I want to go bold today because that's just what I'm feeling. It's just what I'm feeling. So I'm using the Ardell Double Up 207s. I do like the Double Up lashes because they pretty much just, it's like they stacked two lashes together. And I like it because, you know, Ardell, they, you know, they know for their wispies or whatever. It gives you that like choice of being dramatic without having to like go oh, like overboard, which I tend to do sometimes. So ugh, my lashes pretty much hate me. Like literally we don't get along. I am filing the divorce papers as soon as possible because I'm over this. My lashes are too curly, so they get in the way of me trying to apply them. So what I've been trying to do is take the mascara and push my lashes downward first instead of upward, just to get them out of my way. All right, she's prepped and ready to go. So what we gonna do, easy. easy. We're gonna let that help dry. Ooh, musical intermission? I think so. Hey. So I did all my lashes and everything off camera. Yes, I have a wig cap on. Such is life. We're gonna do my lip 
So I'm gonna go for a more like toned down lip, obviously, because my eyes are doing it to them, so. Today's lip, I'm going to be using NYX Liquid Suede in the color Brooklyn Thorn. So this is a finished look. <sighs> what words do I have? Okay, first of all, let me just say I'm not wearing highlighter only because I'm going to be putting on highlighter in a separate video that I'm going to be filming after this. I'm not wearing highlighter, but my look is pretty much finished in the way I like it. Lashes on, wig on. What do you guys think? Oh, can you tell I'm obsessed? Like, look at the look at the eyeshadow. I've never had such a pigmented, vibrant, just beautiful eyeshadow on my eyelids. Like, I honestly feel like I don't need to ever buy eyeshadow again because I'm set. Obviously, we know I'm still gonna buy eyeshadow, but I don't. Honestly, if I could never buy eyeshadow again, I'd be good these palettes are everything look at, look at this oh mother Mary okay so this is a look it's beautiful I'm obsessed tell me what you think down below I really don't think I need to say much about this shadow I think it's really obvious how I feel about it and I think that you can see how it performs how it applies how it swatched how it blended like it was First of all, I was so confused at first. I was like, usually it takes me forever to blend. And then like, this blended like instantly. And I was like. Like, was good. Like it blended so quick. And, and I never do cool tone looks. But this has inspired me to open a whole new world for myself. This, oh. Anyway. Let me know what you think down below. All information on how you can purchase these palettes will be in the description box. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Catching up with me, updating, doing makeup, living life, and just cooling. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I really do hope you come back, come kick it with me another time. I do plan on doing a look with each one of these palettes. So look out 
for a look with another palette really soon because now I'm obsessed. I have to play in all of them ASAP. So this is look numero uno. And I really hope you like it. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Nadia Glam. I'm not feeling that. And why are you here? Don't you put me in your diary, She bent over my breakup. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I um okay. Oh, and I took my hair. All right. Why? Why? In my life, I've never seen Melanie so dog. You're the queen, queen, queen. Remix. Okay. blending let's keep it all the way funky all right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our eyeliner lashes all the fun stuff where they at though where they at though where they at where they at where they at though so Going bows. Okay. Ah! All right. So, give him something he can feel. Yeah. <laughs>